We'll see about that. Ah, Pony. Bonjour les amis, ici Gros Choco Geek et nous sommes de retour sur les mésaventures de l'orphelin Rufus. Oui, orphelin car son père est mort récemment. Avant de rentrer dans les maisons, on va voir ce qu'on peut toucher dans la baraque. Euh, d'accord. On va voir les toilettes alors. Ah, j'avais oublié qu'il se déplaçait à la vitesse d'une tortue morte. Allez, roule Rufus. Occupied. Are you ever coming out of there? Don't rush me. I'm suffering from severe temporal diarrhea. Temporal diarrhea? Yes, I'm a time traveler. Do 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 do. You mean you come from the future? Not do 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 do. There is no future. I came from the past to watch the end of the oh, world. Ah, uh, here we go again. Then you're in the wrong place. I'm the guy who's gonna prevent the end of the world. Oh! Mm. That would be very nice of you. Mm. I'm stuck here, you know. Why, is your time machine clogged? Not exactly. Mm. There's no more toilet paper. Hey, that was irony. Naturally, I don't believe a word you've said. Well... It wasn't exactly the whole truth. Ha! I knew it! There's... One roll of toilet paper left. But it's as rough as sandpaper. Oh! Oh, and I had the chili during the toxic civil war! Oh. <laughs> Ok, donc c'est un gros gros clin d'œil à euh, Doctor Who. Bon, on va changer les paramètres son, puisque j'ai l'impression de ne pas entendre grand chose de ce qu'ils disent. Ah, d'accord. Bon, euh... bon, bah on va laisser comme ça alors. Peut-être baisser un peu le son de mon casque pour que vous n'entendiez pas les voix en écho. Et tant pis pour moi. Oh, il y a un cochon dans le coin, faites gaffe à vos culs les gens alors, on a le choix entre point d'interrogation, point d'interrogation ou point d'interrogation. On va aller euh, celui-là de ce côté. Voilà. Wow. Hey, what's going on here? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, you, uh, <laughs> you friendly hooded people who clearly belong to a, uh, non-violent organization. Um, are you standing in line for the washing machine? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Dooba, 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 Uh, you wouldn't mind if I, <laughs> if I go first, right? Okay. Act weird once for sure, no problem, pal. Boom, hum, kumbaya. Cool. <laughs> Then if if I could just uh Boom Hum Kumba no Darn <coughs> C'est pas le Oui c'est les habits de Bozo Pourquoi les habits de Bozo sont là Donc je ne peux pas aller ici Est-ce que ce serait Bozo Excuse me Is this gonna take long? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Darn. You know, open flames in a laundromat is <laughs> it's really not a good idea. That could burn down half the village. And then everybody points at you again. And they take away your flamethrower. And fire the friendly preschool teacher for failing to provide proper supervision. <laughs> Mon dieu Rufus, mais comment tu peux être un sac à ce point-là Enfin, comment tu peux être un sac comme ça et être encore en vie, quoi Il y a encore des œufs de, 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 de bestioles planqués à droite à gauche. Alors, je suis le jeu, je dirais, c'est des œufs d'ornithorynque. Mais regardez-moi ces petites écailles. On dirait tout à fait les œufs que Daenerys Targaryen récupère dans Game of Thrones. Bon, allez, on va aller là. J'espère que je vais pas me faire attaquer par le cochon. Oh bordel C'est une porte qu'on mène à d'autres portes. Et un sous-sol. Oh non, vous êtes sérieux 
Pourquoi il y a un pénis à droite Non, parce que là... Euh, vous pouvez dire ce que vous voulez, là... Euh, euh, bon, le tatouage est un peu chelou, hein. Bref. Bon, bah... Hmm. Là, je vais aller à droite. Oh 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 Un mini-jeu qui se casse même pas la tête à vous mettre en mini-jeu. On va baisser la musique. Hein. Ha, un pelican, c'est pas crazy. Mildly odd, hein The pelican won't let me dig through the fish guts, even though it's just half-heartedly poking around it. I can see that it's not hungry. Alors je sais pas pour vous, mais moi je l'entends à peine. Bon, on va vraiment baisser le son de, de la musique, euh, parce que bah, je peux rien faire d'autre. Puis j'espère que ça ne vous embêtera pas, vous qui regardez. Et là j'entends vraiment que Chim. Bon, bah ça s'est vu de toute façon. Hum. Distributeur de tourtes. Who needs change? When he's got magic fingers and an undeniable knack for vending machines of every sort. Ouch. Wow, with a fun slime troll and one out of every five pies. Rad. And all these years I thought they weren't allowed to make these anymore. Si vous n'avez pas <coughs> si vous n'avez pas vu la l'une des dernières versions une des dernières vidéos. D'accord, ça va être casse-pied cette histoire. Oh. Non, c'était pas ce qu'il fallait faire. Zut. Quoique, je sais même pas s'il faut que je les mette en. Je sais pas si ça se trouve en train de faire absolument n'importe quoi. J'ai fait une croix. D'accord. Si j'ai appuyé sur le premier, ça fait quoi Oh, j'ai fait une ligne Ou non Comment ça, c'est pas le but du jeu Je fais ce que je veux D'abord. Hmm. Je suis pas convaincu. Je suis vaincu, man. Vaguement cul. C'est pas pratique quand même ce mini-jeu où. Faut déplacer refuse dans le bon coin, quoi. Bon, après, je ne sais absolument pas ce que ça apporte et je ne suis même pas certain qu'il faille le faire, faire ça tout. Oh Dans l'autre sens Non. Yeah! <rire> Did it! Rufus 1, Entropy 0. The heating is off, and that's the way it's gonna stay. Not that I couldn't switch it back on any time. I'm thinking here primarily of the environment. D'accord, je viens d'éteindre le chauffage. So, what? Bon. There's nobody here. <laughs> That's nice. Then I can come in. What? No, stop. Connais cette voix. Uh, hello. You there under the sheet? There's nobody under the sheet. Don't be silly. I can see you. You're seeing a ghost. Can't be. I don't believe in ghosts, especially not the creepy sort that hang around in dark hotel rooms and are eternally trapped between worlds until their poor souls finally find release. I'm not a ghost, and it would be a release if you would disappear. Not so hasty. If you aren't a ghost, what are you doing here all by yourself, in the dark, right next to that peephole into the next room? Um, I... Ooh, I am a ghost! Go away, or you will feel my supernatural ghostly strength! Unless, of course, you're from room service. 
I am room service. Very well. Then please clear away the dishes by the door. Huh? But there aren't any dishes. But... Oh, just a sec. There's something here after all. Ow! Shards! Ow! Another shard! And... Aha! Uh -huh. This isn't a shard. It's a knife. <rire> bon, regarde, on va voir ce qu'il y a dans ce. Stay by the door where I can see you. I thought I was supposed to go away. Yes, right. Go away. Hey, can't you make up your mind? Uh, before I go. Oh my, this is where the sheet hits the fan. Hey, why does a ghost need room service? <laughs> to change the sheets. Keep your hands off my sheet. Huh. Sure thing. I can imagine how uncomfortable it is when the edge gets tucked so far under the mattress. A friend of mine once got caught in a laminating machine. He cried all night long. Fortunately, I remembered how to shut the machine off the next morning. Uh, uh-huh. But as I said, this is not about the sheet. Just clear away the dishes. And why do you need dishes? For a midnight snack? Oh, yeah. Logical. I don't think you're a ghost. And how, may I ask, did you come to that conclusion? Very simple. Ghosts only appear to those who blame themselves for something. <coughs> it's sort of like a guilty conscience made material. Uh, guilty conscience? Me? You have some ideas. You better believe me. I blame myself for absolutely nothing. Oh, come on. Everybody has some guilty secret. Est-ce que nous allons encore apprendre des choses ridicules sur... Yeah, I don't have any guilty secrets. Not a single one. Why else would Gold take me with her to Elysium? In the short time we've known each other, I've already thrown her from a moving Organon cruiser twice, poured espresso made from battery acid down her throat, uh, split her mind into three, and this morning, I accidentally grouted the baby turtle she tried to nurse back to health with quick-drying cement. But... <coughs> She forgave me for everything. My conscience is clear. Have you ever thought that maybe it isn't a matter of whether this goal forgives you, but whether you forgive yourself? Whoa, that would be totally egotistical. I don't think so. Okay, fine. I forgive myself. There. And now? What? And now? Well, you're still here. If you were really a manifestation of my guilty conscience, wouldn't you have dissolved now or something? <sighs> Maybe I have to forgive myself. Of course. Just like in My Friend the Phantom Astronaut. Mark, chez Disney, bien sûr. Come on, hop to it. Just, just forgive yourself. It's not that easy. I am really very ashamed of myself. Well, how are you going to find redemption then? Well, I thought I'd just stand here in the dark and fight against it. Oh, man, what a crybaby. <clears throat> Come on, hop to it. Just just forgive yourself. <coughs> It's not that easy. I am really... Well, how are you going to find... Well, I thought okay, I'd... donc ça on l'a déjà vu. All right. What's your guilty secret then? Isn't it obvious? You're a bedwetter. Rubbish. Look at where I am. In a dark hotel room. Next to... A hole in the wall. And what does that tell you? Oh, I got it. You like to drill holes. No. Huh? But, uh, wait a second. You don't mean... Yep, I like to listen to people while they sing in the shower. <laughs> Come on, hop to it. Just, just forgive yourself. It's not that easy. I am really very. Well, oui, bon. I thought... la, 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 ça ne change pas. Ah, guilty schmilty. Let's talk about something else. Gladly. Can I turn on the light? There is no light here. Only darkness and shame. Charm? Shame. Oh yeah, charm. I'm very charming. No shame. Good grief! You must know shame. Oh. Uh, yeah, shame, of course. <laughs> Those little, uh, shame-shaped things. Shame, yeah, sure. Hey, nice sheet. Keep your hands off my sheet! Do you need it much longer? As long as you're here, yes. And I'm sticking with it. No haunting without a guilty secret. Yes, and... 
Come on, hop to it. It's not that I am well. How are you? I thought. Oh. Bon. Ça ne change pas. Ah, Glad. Well, I was just leaving. I should be. Excuse me. Um. Oh. 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 Hey. Just... Well, I thought I was supposed to go. Yes. Hey. Okay. Bon, on n'a rien d'autre à faire ici. Regardons voir le couteau. Est-ce qu'on peut tenter de planter le coup Need a fish knife. Uh, um, uh, is it to rattle? <rire> And I thought they were serving nothing but fish in the great beyond. Mon dieu, mais c'est pas possible. He's no longer in need of worldly goods, assuming his story is true. J'ai envie de tester un truc très con. C'est pas un machin qui vient de tomber là. That's hardly any use as a spread. Ok, ok, ça valait le coup. Bon, première pièce qu'on visite, euh, un fantôme bizarre. Allons voir quel est le. Il n'y a pas un nom dessus, c'est dommage. Il y a les... Non, il n'y a pas de nom. C'est un placard Non, mais je t'en prie. Euh, y a... <rire> This pressure. What if I fail and the world really does end? Oh no! I am the greatest. On retente? Ah, oh, c'est la même. Dommage. Dommage, c'était drôle. I. Bon bah voyons l'autre chambre. Hein? Easy. I hear something. And the destroyer will pass through this door. And he will bear the sign of the beast. I know that voice. That's and a dull knocking will precede his arrival. And he will say. Ow! Oh, oh, that's gonna, that's leave, gonna a leave a bum. bum. Hey! Don't mock me! You wait a second. I know you. You're very busy. No, you're the guy with the pipe. The soothsayer from Porto Fisco. No, I'm not. You're a liar. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Which basically disqualified me from being a soothsayer, doesn't it? Ah, uh, that's just hair splitting. I still think you're the fortune teller. Ah, I'm often confused with someone else. For example, with Ansgar Meepcap, the famous hat model. Are you pulling my leg? Why? We go to the same barber. Come on, I recognize you. What are you hiding? Hmm? Nothing. Unlike Ansgar, that vain fop. Hmm. Are you planning on going on a journey? Just a little fishing trip. But it looks like you've completely pulled up stakes. I'm hunting big fish. And that's why you're taking all your living room furniture? My house sitter has the mumps. Hmm. What was that mumbling just now? Are you talking to yourself? I don't know what you're getting at. It sounded like some sort of dubious apocalyptic sermon, like you might expect from some sinister sect leader. Ah, yes, that. I was just rehearsing a song for my niece's birthday party. And the destroyer will come through this door? Beepo, the destroyer, king of comedians, do 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 da. And he will bear the sign of the beast? He bears the sign of the beast. He does an elephant impression. Oh mon dieu. Hey, congratulations, Emil Louis. Emil Louis? Yeah, it's a popular girl's name on the Chapinot Coast. What's with the strange outfit? Are you in some weird sect? This is just a bathrobe from the hotel. Oh yeah? Did the hotel also embroider the end is nigh on there? They mean the end of the early bird booking period. The end of the early bird booking period is nigh. Book your vacation at Hotel Meneteco now. Son pas de spa, son pas de plage, son pas de montagne, son pas de ski. You don't happen to know those guys from the laundry room. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, they're carrying candles, singing in minor keys, and they're wearing the same outfit as you. 
Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Probably just a harmless glee club. They painted a pentagram on the floor. Ah, circle of fifths. No doubt about it. Ah! Stop pretending. I see through you. Oh, dear. That was to be expected. Of course, you were right. I am a fortune teller. But I don't like to use my abilities. Oh, yeah. There's nothing but junk on for the future, right? More precisely, there's nothing on. The world is coming to an end. Huh? Yes, that was also my first reaction. The second was to pack all my things up and run away. But that's nonsense. I know. One cannot escape one's fate. Exactly. You have to come to terms with it. What? No! That is why I gathered like-minded people around me. To prepare for the unavoidable together. You founded an apocalyptic sect? Hey, can you think of a better time? Oui Oui, quand la fin du monde est clairement là, oui, c'est sûr. The world will die another day. On a un petit clin d'œil à James Bond sur cette petite phrase. The world won't end today. Correct. It will happen tomorrow. Shortly before the late news. Ha! Not if I can prevent it. Also true. Unfortunately, you can't. Tch, we'll see about that. Wrong. Our eyes will have long since burned away when it happens. Oh, you know better about everything, huh? Yes. An occupational hazard. I'm gonna put a stop to your bunch of superstitious yahoos. But we aren't doing anything wrong. Oh, of course not. You just want to call down the end of the world. Oh, we do not. The end can no longer be stopped. All that is left to us is to prepare for it spiritually. Spiritually? I see. So you're getting hammered. A sort of rap party for the planet. Quite the contrary. It is a matter of symbolically washing ourselves clean of our sins before the end comes. <laughs> So just soft drinks? I'd rather go to the real Satanists. At least they know how to party. <coughs> Your pals are clogging up the laundry. Patience, my friend. The ritual won't take long. Yeah? What are they waiting for then? I need to use the washing machine. Well, they are waiting for their guru, of course, for me. Then what are you doing here? I am preparing for my big speech. The world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look good. Pertinent, pertinent. What makes you think the world will come to an end? The signs were clear. Last night, the horizon was in flames. Oh, you don't mean my barbecue, do you? Then it rained fire from the heavens. Yeah, okay. I shouldn't have used the cheap briquettes. And frogs? I, I told Doc they weren't done yet. Finally, the water of the ocean turned to blood. Okay, I get it, I get it. My little barbecue party got a bit out of control. <laughs> so what? But that doesn't make me a horseman of the apocalypse. Yeah, I, I know it said so on the flyer, but that was just for PR. Can I have your robe? No, but if you participate in our ritual, you will get your own. Are you nuts? There's absolutely no way I'm going to take part in your eerie apocalyptic sock op. <laughs> it is a self-purification ritual to cleanse you of your sins. It is a matter of symbolically washing ourselves clean of our sins before the end comes. What sins? I'm busy saving the world. Strictly speaking, I'm sort of a saint, and I already washed this week. I have seen it otherwise. Oh, come on! Give me a robe! No, these robes are intended only for people who are willing to wash themselves clean. Oh, spare me. I'm out of here. I have seen it otherwise. Oh, come on! No, these... Oh, spare me. I'm out of here. I have... What are you doing here, anyway? I am preparing for my big speech. The world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look good. I see. Well, this could take a while. Tja, you're beyond help. As are we all. Ow! 
Absurd humor is okay in itself, but I can't waste this unique opportunity on another cheap pun. I'm thinking of the fans who love my pranks for their cryptic ambiguity. Infesting him with lice would be funny, but unfortunately, he's missing an important prerequisite. Bon, qu'est-ce qui est? Hey, leave Mr. Toffee alone. Mr. Toffee, weird name for a tarantula. Hope it's not connected to its camouflage. Hey. Ooh, I see an invitation for a fabulous prank. <laughs> I'm already laughing myself silly. <laughs> <laughs> like taking candy from a baby, just with fewer cavities. Refuse to us. Yeah, <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> but I can't waste this unique opportunity on another cheap pun. I'm thinking of the fans who love my pranks for their cryptic ambiguity. Okay, he veut pas faire ça. Classique. Okay, on va aller voir. On va aller parler au fantôme de, de ce... Ah, uh, bon my. Non. I was just leaving. I should... oh. Oh. Non, rien de neuf ici. On va traverser le couloir. Huh. Locked. Goal? No answer. But there's somebody in there. I hear voices. I can think of a thousand ways to crack, but the designer seems to have foreseen all of them. Apparently, word of my skills has gotten around. Huh. Locked. Goal? No answer. Bon, on va ressortir. Et on va aller dans le schmoul ici. Oh là là, qu'est-ce que c'est que ce bazar Bien, alors on a déjà une direction par là, une direction par là, et un bazar. My circuits are scrambled. I shouldn't get up so fast. Or get a little exercise. Whoa! Don't creep up on me like that! Creep? I rang the bell. Phew! I thought it was my tinnitus. It wouldn't surprise me though, with all that noise from the cruiser route, not to mention the cold draft or the mold. But I digress. Welcome to the Hotel Menetekel. Would you like to rent a room? Uh... Actually, I was just looking for my friends. A geriatric garden gnome, a girly giraffe, and a circus bear in a hat? That's them. Yeah, they just checked in. They didn't look like they could afford a lawyer, so I gave them room five. But don't worry. As long as they don't touch any light switches, electrical sockets, or load-bearing architecture, they should survive the night. Provided they stay in the room after midnight, of course. Which reminds me, do you happen to have unfinished business with demons, dark gods, or the recently dead? Uh, not that I know of. Super! That's all right then. You have no idea how squeamish some insurance companies can be when it comes to supernatural causes of death. Here's your key. Please have a pleasant stay here at Hotel Menetekel. Uh, thank you, my good man. Are you insinuating that this place is haunted? Not at all. We're safe here in reception. It's the rooms I'd worry about, especially room 13. Why? What's wrong with room 13? Mm, let's just say it was a mistake to bury the Indians there. No. Oh yeah, and an apocalyptic cult has occupied the laundry. So if you need clean bedding, you should make sure you don't carry any religious insignia or virgins with you. How will I find my room? Oh, probably horrible. I wouldn't want to spend the night in there. Oh, why do I bother? Many Tekel. That's a strange name for a hotel. You think so? It's Many Tekel. I've always thought the name was cute. It means something like impending doom. That's what I mean. Who wants to live with impending doom? Don't we all do that? Uh, right, but if you have a choice. But you don't. Or have you seen another hotel around here? 
strange location for a hotel, right under the Organon cruiser route. Hmm, you think so? Our surveys have shown that this is the ideal location for customers in our target group. Ugh. People without a sense of smell? People who are so desperate that they'll accept anything. <laughs> them. Haven't you heard the rumor that Deponia is going to be blown up? Of course! That's why popcorn is sold out everywhere. Well, it's all true. But I'm the one who's going to prevent it. That's fantastic. Now, I thought I would wind up having to do that. What? For one thing, I was forced to clean the toilet this week. Is that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> Got me. Of course I didn't clean the toilet. That'll be the day. Hello, I'm talking about the greatest catastrophe of all time. Ah, so you've already seen our toilet. I'm going to my room. Yeah, do that. I won't stop you. And before you ask, that does not constitute an act of negligent bodily harm. We've had that checked. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I like his work attitude. It's fashionable, comfortable, and keeps your head warm. Yoo-hoo! Ding dong! Yoo-hoo! Ding dong! Bon. Eh bien, ici, il y a plein de choses à ramasser. Bien. anything left in here <coughs> there actually was something left in there <coughs> dust <coughs> I usually take my coffee black but it only seems to come in gray green here I don't think much of modern art but this is good. It's drawn from the perspective of a person who unsuspectingly opens the urn of his dear departed mother and then dies of a heart attack because of the spring-loaded flowers popping out at him. <laughs> what a pity it's hanging so crooked. <sighs> I don't think much of modern art. It's and what a Well, it's Aha! A... here we have the perpetrator. Huh, a nut. Who needs tools when he has hands like vice grips? Tout le monde essaye, tout le monde le pense, et personne ne l'a. Pretty slippery, my vice grips. Ouais, je pense pas que je puisse faire quoi que ce soit avec ça, donc pour le moment, on va le laisser comme ça. D'accord. Retournons aux chambres. Il faut que j'utilise la clé sur la porte. Vous êtes sérieux <rire> Ah, there you are. Qu'est-ce qui se passe ici And wow, what is all this stuff Did you just set it up No. Neurofusion chambers are standard in this hotel. Of course we did. Huh, pretty speedy. And, uh, what does one do with a, uh, Nero thingy? Can you watch scrambled channels? <coughs> that too. But most importantly, it will repair Gold's brain implant. Brain? You know, remerging the aspects of her character. Yes? Her entire consciousness was stored on a cartridge. Right, together with the ascension code. That you need to gain access to the high boat. Exactly. After this procedure, Goal will be her old self again. And then you can make use of the shower. Shower? Why? Uh, for the Ascension customs? Or did you think they'd let you into Elysium like that? What? And just what is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying, considering everything we know about that Cletus, he is an extremely clean person. So, if you want to pretend to be him, 
shower. Hey, let me deal with that. You take care of gold. Or do I have to help you with that as well? Not necessary. It's almost ready. Cool. Uh, almost? Pourquoi est-ce qu'il s'est désappé D'accord, il voulait prendre une douche. Là, sa serviette autour des trucs. Et pourquoi, bon, pourquoi je réfléchis What do you mean, almost? Oh, uh, nothing bad. I just have to calibrate the data interface. Uh, and once again, I have to do all the heavy lifting, right? Not at all. No problem. I can fillet a data thingy with one hand tied behind my back. You just have to press here. And Rufus, no! That throttles the fuel rods. Ah, they can handle it. Uh, Rufus, this calibration is really much too easy for you. Why don't you take care of the much more difficult professional mission? Professional mission? Of course. Doc still needs this thing that can't be found in this hotel room. Oh, um, exactly. That, uh, uh plasma... Uh, exchange. Uh, whoop de doo uh, uh, Mammoth fur. Relay. A plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay? Hard to come by. Huh. For beginners like you, maybe. But for a pro <laughs> like me, it'll only take a jiffy. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, bozo, you old pirate. Go ahead and say it. Huh? Nah, how can you be a pirate without the cutter? I was gonna say, you old liver spot repository. <laughs> you better get dressed. You don't want to shock Gold into another coma as soon as she wakes up, do you? Wasn't that awesome before? I suppose. Aw, you're unhappy, aren't you? Unhappy doesn't even come close. I certainly would be in your place. <laughs> After all, you slept through all the cool action. Come on, give me a smile. Why should I? My cutter is wrecked. Aw, oh, it's not the end of the world. The world is ending. Not until tomorrow morning. And there's nothing to eat here. And I'm hungry. Ugh, complain, complain, complain. You almost sound like my ex-girlfriend, Tony. Or my ex-best friend, Wenzel. Or anybody else who spent a lot of time with me. And that doesn't make you think. <laughs> a whole lot more would have to happen to make me think. Yeah, that was my impression too. C'est désagréable ce petit flou. Cette petite différence graphique. Hmm. Now, don't you think we should get dressed? I can't. My clothes are in the laundry. And if I bring them to you, will you finally cover up then? Why should I? Parce que t'as des stalagmites qui se forment sur ta barbe et tes cheveux? Must be freezing. It is a bit drafty. I think the heater is on the blink. But, well, for a real pirate. You? A pirate? Who convinced you of that rubbish? <coughs> It was you. Oh, <laughs> right. Ask a stupid question. I'm honored that you're trying to emulate me. But face the facts. You'll never be a go-getter like me. Come on, crawl into your soft and cuddly placenta fur coat and... Ah, uh, forget it. Now I'm definitely gonna sit here in the cold. I don't even care if I catch the whooping pox. I'm telling you, you're gonna catch the whooping pox. Rubbish. My tongue would be completely blue. I would have a cough, the sniffles, and a fever. Blue tongue, cough, sniffles, fever. Got it. Rufus, you aren't planning to infect me with whooping pox, are you? Uh, 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 uh. I only said you would catch it. How you do that will be... Oh, mais quel sac à merde! Your nakedness is throttling my sense of aesthetics. <laughs> when you do that thing with your Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, mon dieu les mecs vous êtes cons quoi. After all, there's a lady present. 
goal? She seems rather absent to me. And as long as she is, why would you begrudge me a little leg room? <laughs> you have no idea how hard it is to find pants that fit in my size. All right. There's an absent lady present. But is that a reason to asphyxiate her? She's already blushing. Um, Rufus, I think you're standing on her breathing tube. Huh? I, whatever. This isn't about any stupid tubes. This is about, uh, um... Leg room? Exactly. Not that I have any less leg room. I'm thinking about Doc, too. Don't worry about my leg room, boy. Speaking of which, how come we never see your legs, Doc? Let's just leave it at that. Don't worry. Whatever. I need your towel. Okay. No, no, don't. What you want? New eyes. J'ai peur de me gratter l'œil. Je me suis fait mal en... à cause de ces conneries. Oh mon dieu. Ah, do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> thing with your legs Ugh. anything but that <sighs> didn't you just say you were hungry what you heard that oh yeah they call it selective perception sort of a mental superpower that separates the wheat from the chaff chaff in the left half of your brain wheat in the right <laughs> yeah ain't i something if you want to get me something to eat there's a pie vending machine in the basement uh, we'll see First, I have to find out if that will get me anywhere. What? Well, I bring you something to eat, and then I also get something out of it. That's the way it works. What about a good feeling for having done a friend a favor? Huh? No, not like that. I meant something useful. A uh, bait fish or something. Okay, <clears throat> sorry, suck. I've got to go. Don't take it personally. It's just your disgusting appearance. <rire> My eyes are smarting already. Oh. Et Rufus qui fait une référence aux yeux qui font mal. C'est à cause de toi, Rufus, que je me suis foutu le doigt dans l'œil. Mon Dieu, si Rufus commence carrément à, à empiéter sur le. Here, I got your clothes from the laundry. Now please get dressed. It is a bit drafty. I think the heater is on the blink, but, well, for a real pirate. You? A pirate? Who convinced you of that rubbish? Oh. It oh, <laughs> I'm honored that you're just face the... Come on, crawl. Ah, now I'm definitely... I don't even care if I... Okay. Huh, you see? I knew you'd catch a cold. Rubbish. It's just the dust. I have an allergy. Well then, we found just the right hotel for you, didn't we? I'd rather keep my stuff in my own coat. There's a lot more room in there. Hey, Doc! For the thousandth time, Rufus, you'll only get your ball back when you tell me how the leftover pudding got into my particle accelerator. First of all, that wasn't pudding. And second, um, uh, what am I supposed to get again? Um, a mammoth fur. whoop de doo Plasma. Uh, <laughs> Just kidding. Of course, I'm supposed to get a plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay. I would never forget such an important assignment. How's the calibration coming? It would go a lot faster if you <clears throat> got a plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay, right? Um, exactly. Yeah, hey, what would you ever do without me? I have to go. You've kept me from my vital professional mission for too long. The farther you are from the room, the less we can bother you. May I borrow your bag? Sure, go ahead. So far, you've only taken away my home and my livelihood. Why not also take the bag with the last of my possessions? Hey, <laughs> cool. Thanks. Very considerate. 
Ah, it's stained. Hey, that was irony. I thought as much. Maybe next time you shouldn't put it next to the toilet when you're taking a pee. No, Rufus. I need the one-third screwdriver for the operation. And I need it to randomly combine with items. <coughs> I said, hands off. All right, all right. Hello, reception? You are a dead man. I'm what? <laughs> Little joke. This is reception, of course. Always at your service, unless you're the guy stuck in the elevator. Elevator? I haven't seen an elevator here. Neither have I. That's why I can't help you. Please get off the line. Wait, I'm calling from my room. Well, well that's different then. What's your room number? Room five. Really? You loser. Uh, how can I help you? I'd like to eat something. Ha! <laughs> You've got guts. I like that. Have you picked up your menu from reception? Tell me, you wouldn't happen to have a plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay? Mm, it's possible. Wait a moment while I check in the basement. Hey, I can hear you breathing in the receiver. Mm, you caught me. Nevertheless, you still have to pay your bill for internal telephone calls. Can I do anything else to you? Oops. <laughs> Wrong number. No problem. That happens a lot. We think it's because of the electromagnetic radiation from the nuclear waste dump. Or the Indian burial ground. One of those. Hello? Reception? Always at... What you... On peut pas faire la chambre 13, c'est dommage. That's impossible. Room 1 hasn't been rented out. And there are no voices from the beyond there either. Unlike in the other rooms, come up with a better story. Oh, did I say room 1? <laughs> no, of course, I meant room 3. Ah, I finally got a hold of you. I've got a number of complaints about you here. Noise disturbance, odor disturbance, regular disturbance, molestation. Oh, no. Wait. Those are about me. Whatever. <coughs> More importantly, you still haven't paid for your delivery. Why do you need all those chickens anyway? Uh, did I say room three? Uh, no, of course, I meant room nine. Whoa! The demons from the cursed room! Well, the most cursed. Why can't you just leave me alone? I've done everything you demanded. The old married couple, the friendly author, even the young actress. All dealt with. All right, I... I didn't put fresh sheets on your beds, but I have to draw the line somewhere. Uh, did I say room 9? Uh, no, of course, I meant... Oops, <laughs> wrong memory. No problem. C'est très perturbant ce qui vient de se passer. Mammoth fur, really? And whoop de doo All right. Bon, qu'est-ce qu'on a récupéré On a récupéré un tire-bouchon. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, il y a vraiment des trucs qui tombent à chaque fois que j'active le... Ok. On essaye On essaye. On essaye avec le tire-bouchon I can think of a thousand ways to but the designers apparently work. Bon. Bon bon ah. Mr. Queasy's pep snack contains at least 20% pepper. Also try Dr. Queasy's reptile chow, Dr. Queasy's bait bugs and Dr. Queasy's all-purpose roaches. Hmm. On va tenter one causes coughing, the other sniffles. <laughs> that makes 50% of the symptoms of whooping pox. <laughs> Mais il a pas fait de mélange. OK. Let's see what Bozo carries around. Underwear, a three-person tent. No, no, wait, that's even more underwear. But hey, what's this? 
shampoo. Do I hold here in my hands the secret of his gleaming curls? Those flaky scales sure look a lot like dandruff. Bien, 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 bien. Mais écoutez, l'épisode euh, du jour, cet épisode a déjà duré beaucoup trop longtemps. Nous allons nous quitter là-dessus aujourd'hui. Comme d'habitude, si vous avez aimé, likez, commentez, partagez. Cliquez sur la petite cloche après vous être abonné. Merci Refus. Oui, tout à fait. C'était Gros Choco Geek. Sur Deponia. Et je vous dis... à très bientôt.